Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cullen on Film. We are live right now on Facebook on Cullen on Film as well as the Shared Universe. And we're here tonight with Jennifer Giles. How are you doing, Jennifer? Hi, I'm doing good. It's so nice to see you. I know, it's been so long, right? It's, it's I know, been, too long. You know, it, I, it, we used to have this in the studio and it was a lot, you know, a lot of fun to do that inside the studio. But since then, we've been doing it online and um, getting people from all over the place. So it's the only time I get to talk to people. So it's, it's been a lot of fun for me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the advantage of this pandemic, yeah. right? A lot of people and are doing this. Yeah, and everybody's connecting with each other, which is great to yeah. see how everybody is, and right? Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> that's I, the one thing. No, no. <laughs> we we also have uh, well, in, we we don't have school right now. We we're outside of school. We're online. So oh yeah, um, I know. For the arts program, this has been great for them. So we have a lot of people in the arts. Um, on, on the show when we talk about uh, things uh, about film, TV and, and, and other arts as well. And we also have like, we have dance classes. So I thought it'd be great to start out. Um, so there are, there is a dance program in our school and um, they're like, you know, what can we get like a dancer on? So I thought it'd be great if we could start out with how you started out in dance and where that brought you. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, I started, you know, I trained as a ballet dancer and then I uh, went to college for dance um, at a conservatory because my parents made me go to college. So I went to a place where all I did was dance. And then I moved to New York. And um, after dancing in some smaller companies, I became a rockette wow. at Radio City. Yeah. How was that experience? Which is what I knew you were asking me for. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was cool. It was yeah. uh, it was a lot of work. It was pretty um, incredible. Uh, you know that the stage is so beautiful. There's the you know it's one of the most beautiful stages, one of the most beautiful popcorn palaces they call it <laughs> um, in the world. And um, it's got three stage elevators and uh, seventy five foot uh, fly space, and it's. Oh, I can't remember how long it is across across the stage, but it's um, 36 Rockettes fit yeah. across yeah. the stage. Oh, yeah, wow. it's pretty amazing. It was really a wonderful experience. And I, I actually wrote a one-woman show about it and performed oh, that wow. off-Broadway and toured a little bit called uh, Kicking and Screaming, the musical. Oh, wow. I did? How long ago was that? I don't remember that. That was, um, you could see, you could see, uh, I have like a five minute trailer on Maybe. my website. Oh, wow. um, it's like hidden in the, in the back of the website with the oh. more, it's more, you know, like my voice of a career and my dancing career. <laughs> um, that was, I think the last time I did it was at the Paramount in mm. Peekskill, which is a huge, beautiful, it's like a mini Radio City, actually. Yeah, it's a nice theater, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I did it there um, for Make-A-Wish Foundation. It was, oh. a, it was a fundraiser, and that was uh, 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so yep. You, so you did that uh, dancing for a long time, but then you transitioned and, and you moved into acting. Did you do that? Um, did you go from dancing into acting or was there anything else? Yeah, it was kind of like a, it was kind of like phased into it because I was, I, um, I did some plays, I did some theater in, uh, in high school, mm -hmm. but I knew that, you know, I was, that's all I wanted to do was dance. So I went to college for dance and blah, blah, blah. But then in, when I was in New York, I started doing comedy. Um, mm -hmm. and then I started doing, so at the same time I was doing comedy, I was in a theater company, um, I was doing musicals um, and uh, hosted a kids show for the New York Mets. That was oh, yeah. that was at the exact same time as my as Radio City. So that I just took my Mets shirt off. I had one on earlier. I had I was oh. wearing it when I went running because uh, Met fan. I miss the baseball right now. So oh yeah <laughs> yeah everybody does yeah so many I I go to a fundraiser every year and. Um, it's where a lot of uh, big athletes go and and uh, and Long Island and that was canceled this year and it was such a bummer to yeah. see everybody and and God there's so many I don't know that baseball is like you know it's kind of like what's going on now you yeah. know it's just like it's this it's exciting there's a pause you know yeah. it's heartbreaking it's heartwarming right it's kind yeah. of a metaphor. 
Yeah. All right. Can you see that anywhere that what you did? Um, is there on tape anywhere or uh, online? Actually, on my other? YouTube channel, I put up there? one of uh, one of the episodes. Oh. Uh, we did it for for four years. Oh wow. So yeah, four seasons. It was on Sports Channel, mm -hmm. and so I have. I decided I took like a beta. They gave me a bunch of beta tapes. I think. I hope they gave them to me. <laughs> yeah, now I'm telling everybody I have them, but um, I got to see if they. You got to see if they transfer now. The transfer <laughs> I did. I transferred, did. I transferred a bunch of them, <laughs> and I put one of the shows up on my YouTube channel, so oh, you wow. can see. Oh, that'd be great! Yeah. They put show just for kids. <laughs> yeah, that was me. They uh, my hair they, is as long as it was, you know, huh? I got like, I was, I always, I call it 80, my 80s hair, but I guess it's, it's more like 90s. Now that I, I kind of like tried to straighten it and stuff, it's so long, but. Yeah, well, they posted uh, your, web, uh, they posted your, your website there. So um, oh, good. Oh, good. My comments, so the people can go there and check them out. Awesome. So, Thank you. Yeah, so. That was then, and then you started going uh, and into films, right? So how did that going from doing that into transitioning to film, short films, features? Yeah, like that? yeah. Well, I started, I started writing, um, and I wanted to write. I wanted. To, well, I decided. I was like, no, what do I really want to do? I love comedy. I want to be on. I want my own sitcom. So I'll write a pilot. So that's yeah. basically what I did. Was. Um, I, I wrote a pilot that was sort of like loosely based on myself and a uh -huh. friend of mine. Um, she was making me laugh so hard that I, I was like, <laughs> your, your life is like a sitcom. And then I was like, Ding. okay, <laughs> that's what I'm going to write. And that was mother of the week. And okay. uh, yeah. And so that's how we kind of, that's how we met. Mm -hmm. We met. Yeah, in, right. Yeah. That and, played, that uh, played everywhere. Every, like every festival, we kept going to the same festivals and it was there. Yes, that's right. That's right. When I was at Garden yeah. State, that's when we met. Garden State. Yeah. Um, yep. Um, but uh, yeah, so this actually on Thursday night of this week, we're doing a uh, live streaming of Mother of the Week. Oh, wow. And uh, Stephen Cutts, who w played my best friend at work in the film, mm -hmm. he's a phenomenal actor, uh, writer. Um, he's a published author. He was in the movie Camp. Do you know that movie? I, it's uh, yeah, isn't that an actors' camp movie? Yeah, yep. he's in that. It's like a cult classic. Like mm -hmm. we went, we'd go places. We were at a film festival in in DC, and uh, this one of the other filmmakers was like, "You after after the talk back and everything." She's like, "You look familiar," and he <laughs> he was like, "Well," and she goes, oh, and literally she starts crying because he. <laughs> must have seen the film a hundred times, you know, the, oh, the wow. kids that loved it anyway. So, yeah. um, so he and I are going to co-host a live stream of mother of the week. And then we're going to do a talk back right after with a bunch of the cast and crew. So it's going to be, like, where can you see that? Where is it going to play? There is a link on my Facebook page. Okay. Um, so hopefully you guys can find it. I should have sent yeah. it to you beforehand, but um, yeah, they'll get it. Yeah, they'll get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they'll get it. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a YouTube live, I guess. And yeah, then, like this, um, like this. YouTube. I mean, I, well, like, like Facebook Live, but YouTube Live. Yes. Yeah, YouTube Live stream, and then there's like a Zoom to do the. I don't know how it's. I got somebody to be the one, like one of your guys behind the scenes. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's a little bit of a learning curve. So, yeah. <laughs> So what? So this e-learning, I you know, um, are your teacher friends watching? Because it's uh, they, they, they might be watching now, or they'll definitely be watching later <laughs> when I put it on. I'll, we'll put it on YouTube later, and I usually put it on our our uh, our school YouTube, and then oh, they'll, they'll watch that great. as well. So yes. all right, so I won't I won't say anything off color, but um, <laughs> we can always will, edit too. We can always edit. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though that this e-learning thing is pretty crazy. Yeah. You know, doing it at home. I, I have my little guy mm -hmm. and like every, every Monday, uh, and today's considered a Monday because of the holiday. Yeah. It's just a screaming match. And then we get <laughs> by the time I would say when it's about three o'clock, then we get down to business. Yeah. Which is, you know, it's just, there's so much, it's just so much. There's to a lot. Do. Yeah. In the beginning, we, we, I think, uh, we had a lot of assignments and it was like too much. 
So yeah. we kind of, kind of like people like the electives, we kind of backed off a little bit because it was it, we were throwing too much, but we didn't yeah. realize it either. No one when it first started, no one realized, you know, if it what yeah. was too much, what was too little what was had. But you know, it, it's been running pretty smooth, but it's just been no one expected it this long. Yeah. What is this week twelve? I think this is week twelve. It's, and it's and yeah. we're going we're going to the end. So yeah, it's crazy. Yep. Yep. I, I was just doing virtual, uh, putting a virtual graduation together, but now. Um, the governor said today, we got to find out details, but, uh, January in, uh, not January, in July, <laughs> the January way ahead. 2024, yeah. <laughs> right. in, in, in July, they're going to allow like an outside, uh, sort of graduation or something. So we'll, oh, we'll, nice. we'll, we'll find out how that is, but they still have to do something virtual. So I'm working on that. Oh, wow. So, That's yeah. cool. So yeah. I mean, your job, like the gym teacher for instance, oh. he has one, like he sends videos and then he has like, you fill out one little card at the end of the week yeah. to say what you did this week. They could just watch me in Death and Disco Fries as the dead gym teacher. And then they'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> I know that's such a funny film. It was great. <laughs> Doing my exercises in that film. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So I don't know. There's a lot of, a lot of yoga going on yeah. in my house. Well, yeah. just, by me actually. <laughs> um, and uh, that's kind of fun, you know, like running from like this morning with the yoga class, my kids sleep late, you know, I have to, out I'll out them if their teachers are watching, but they're, they're <laughs> not usually up till like noon. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> which is fun. And then unless they have like a meeting. Then yeah. I well, the students, our students have till midnight to get the assignments in. So they had till midnight yeah. and, and they're coming in at 1159. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> crazy right how old are they high school, high school. oh okay Late, older yeah. i mean yeah, yeah. So from, from nine to twelve but um right right yeah i mean it's it's tough you're competing with like the new seasons of of uh of uh supergirl and the oh are they all on now came out you know so you guys have to compete with that yeah everyone's been watching netflix and amazon <laughs> and all the shows and, yeah yeah but, but, but you know. we're getting by but yeah. I, what, what are, what have you been, have you been writing during this time? Cause that's what a lot of people seem to be doing is writing and being creative to be yeah. ready, to be ready when this is kind of over that we can start filming. Yes. But. Yes. I have a new uh, comedy feature, oh. which I'm so excited about. And um, I'm working with um, another writer. His name is Chris Nespazinski. Mm -hmm. um, I finally learned how to say his name that's and uh yeah, it's a hard name. He's a very, very good writer, filmmaker. I met him actually at uh, AC Cinefest. Oh, really? Yeah. And um, we just kept I, I might know him then. I might know him. I'm always there. Him. Yeah, I'm yeah. always there. Google probably him if you, could, if you could yeah. figure out how to spell his name. <laughs> I probably um, won't be able to. Just type in N-I-E <laughs> and then only a few people will come up and that'll be it's Chris. Yeah. Um and uh, he's hilarious, so talented. And we've been working on this script and it's uh, pretty much done. So um, it's uh, it's a it's a mixed genre film. Mm -hmm. It's a dark comedy whodunit. Yeah, um, they're always fun. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, I'm really excited about it. So, and um, I can't really say much about it yet, mm -hmm. but you know, hopefully we'll get, we'll get this done and then tell everybody. Yeah, as, soon as, um, as soon as you can open up, you'll get, you get working on the pre-production for it. Is that the, the uh, goal? Well, actually we're talking, we're looking at different, we're talking to different producers right mm -hmm. now. So we'll see um, which way we're going to go and, and hopefully uh, we'll make it happen. And I don't know. I don't know when, who knows, right? Yeah. yeah we don't know. Um, and then I have a, uh, I have another, I actually have a baseball, uh, series oh. and it's not, not like a baseball series, but a series about baseball. <laughs> yes. um, is it, is it um, another uh, sitcom like 30 minute length or is it like uh, for YouTube or it's uh no, it's actually, hopefully, uh, it's, it's called Curveballs, and it's, um, it's about the behind the scenes of a baseball show for kids. Oh, wow. Well, so when I was at the Mets, there's yeah. a, so much material from that. <laughs> I'm sure so, there is, um, especially yeah. you said in the 80s, right? Oh my God, we had when I <laughs> I was with the Mets in the lean years, yeah. first of all. So yeah. I had um, the bleach 
incident. I don't know if you remember the bleach rape, mm -hmm. Dallas Green and the strike. Yeah. Um, oh God, I don't even know. There was the the party down in floor in at spring training where they got arrested with drugs and it was just like this crazy, you know. And there I am, like, <laughs> like yeah, trying to I've, like change I've, the face of. Well, it. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, when I was older, I read some of their books. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you're younger, you don't, you don't, you don't see any of that, you know? <laughs> you no, know, no, no. Right. No, it, it was, it was a crazy time. Um, mm -hmm. It was in the nineties. So 92 90. to 96. Okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. But was, um, still those years of, you know. Yeah. It was just, you know, crazy. I mean, uh, but it was fun. It was great. Yeah. It was really great. And so we, so, um, so my writing partner for mother of the week and I, um, when we were pitching Mother of the Week as a pilot um, or as a, yeah, as a series, um, uh, you know, we had our What Else You Got and oh, that was yeah. Curveballs. And so um, now we're now Curveballs, we're we're we have um, uh, actually a, a nice little lineup of of <laughs> it's always like baseball terms. I don't yeah. mean to say that, but it's true. It is lineup. Um of uh, good actors that were uh, ready to shoot. We have a sizzle that we're shooting with uh, Choice Films. Mm -hmm. um, Tony Glazier is going to direct it. And um, so we have some really good people on board there, which yeah. is nice. Some some name talent. And that's going to be really fun. So we're going to shoot that first. And then we'll go back to pitching. I miss my baseball. So that, you know, definitely I like watching the baseball movies and even old games and watching old games and even South Korea is playing on TV at five in the morning. I hear, I know, I hear a lot of people are doing that. <laughs> I watched the old series from 19, right? Yeah. 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 I got, I got the game when I'm doing work or editing or something, I got baseball yeah. going on and I don't know what game I'm just, just listening. So I miss it. But, uh, <laughs> Ah, hopefully, hopefully get some some season in. We'll see yeah, what happens. Maybe well in the fall for sure, yeah. probably. But yeah. I don't know if people are going to go. I mean, they're playing. No, then, I don't think they're going to get people in the stands. I think it's just um, they're going to play and put right. on TV. Yeah, right. So I think they're trying to get eighty games in. So we'll see. Well, I guess it's good for the um, for the wives that they can't see anybody else. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was part of a. Uh, part of that whole world too but that's yeah, i guess yeah. that's everywhere yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that'll be cut out for the kids um, <laughs> so <laughs> well we go from that and then so you have those going on and then um you, you've done a bunch of other uh films that we, we've seen at festivals as well that you won awards at you you went and you played that complete drama yeah yeah right the waiting room and mm -hmm. then the choice and then the truth, yeah. So that's right. two, two, two serious. We go from comedy to pretty right. serious kind of. Right. Drama. And I also did a film, another short called Beauty. Yes. Um, yes. Right. You see, you saw, you had, you have it. No. Yeah. You it's a, it. hang, hang on, on to your shorts. shorts. It was going to play, and then now we're going to play in September. So. Okay. We're, good. Yay. We're hoping. We're hoping September is going to be good enough to. I think. I think we'll be all right then. So. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Right. I mean, that was. Uh, that was a. That was a head trip. That the funny trip. thing is that all the festivals that have canceled or, and pushed forward, they're all on the same weekend. <laughs> oh, really? All, like mid-September. Every one of them oh. that was like like April and in, in March or April moved to mid-September. Oh, well, so, are they we'll near see. each other? <laughs> can, we, can we travel fast? And back and forth, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, there's a lot. I like around the country, I'm saying, but but there's a lot on that weekend. I was just cracking up. Like everyone picked that same weekend. But, right. The first weekend that they could possibly pick, right? Yeah, like, so it's after Memorial, it's after Labor Day weekend. So it's after that. Yeah. And, and it's the weekend before like weddings start up again and things. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And you know, yeah. there's a lot going online right now. So do you have any festivals yeah. coming up that are that are playing any of the films? But it's going to be online. I do not. Just no. our just our live stream of Mother of the Week mm -hmm. on Thursday. Little quick shot. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be fun. Yeah, but be um, fun. yeah, yeah. So, yes, and, uh, sorry. Oh no, 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 not at all. No, uh, I was just going to say it's like it's we're lucky. You know, we're so lucky. I mean, I'm lucky that 
everybody's healthy and mm -hmm. um, we get to spend a lot of time together, which is nice. Our fan, you know, with the kids. Yeah. Um, I really didn't know a lot of stuff about school as much, you know, I, and I consider myself like pretty in touch and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on yeah. this. It's not this, easy. It's not easy being a teacher. <laughs> what? It's not easy being a teacher. Oh, how do you do that with, I meant like the it, first, I think it was the first week I, I wrote my little guy's teachers. It's just two, two, like a team of two. And then he has a couple, he's in middle school. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I was just like, I don't know how you do it with more than one child in the room. Cause oh, yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> Well, like I, I got six classes of film, so like there's, it's hard to, I mean, we're able to do it because TV film one is, you could do it online, but the advanced classes are usually, you grab this camera, film this, edit this. So it's, it's been a little challenge that way, but, right. um, but we get, we got some stuff done. We got, we got content out there. We've been doing, a lot of my students have been doing these kind of podcasts. This is great. I hear an echo. My, my voice is echoing now for some reason. Do you hear that? No, only when you go like this. No, yeah, I, I'm trying to lower this. I don't know where my voice just started echoing. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. I'm not the technical one. <laughs> Chris, Christian, <laughs> do you hear my echo? It, it's gone now, I think. No, it's still there. It's weird. Just started so you echoing. Got your, you got your bottle of bourbon ready for uh, Mike Beza? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> uh, I'll, It'll, it'll be interesting. Well, it'll he's going to be on his own there at his own house. Yeah. Yeah. At, at this, on this call. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so, yeah, we'll see. We can't go, we can't go to any festivals or we're not out and hanging out and having fun. So this is my fun. This is it. This is what we're having fun with. So, <laughs> um, so your, your, what about your short film uh, beauty that we have? Can you talk a little bit about that one? Uh, sure. Um, it, uh, well, you can't. I, I don't really know the pitch because you can't give it away because it's yeah. Like I that, guess you don't want to give it away. Yeah. Like but, a twist at the end. Yeah. But like, I lose. I lose my. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in that movie, right? So there's like, yeah. but you can actually see a clip on my um on my website. I have a clip yeah. of of it of the that scene um where you can see part of that scene where i lose it um but it's a really it's an interesting it was you know we shot it uh the same we shot it a month uh either it was a month before or a month after we shot i shot the choice with deborah markowitz okay so um and those were two really heavy yeah roles. so you went you went from comedy to pretty heavy stuff yeah, went from you're right, and like the 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 waiting room is like sort of a dramedy, so mm -hmm. you know a few laughs in that, mm -hmm. and then um and then went to yeah the choice and then beauty, um and actually you know I I actually wrote I'm in the middle of writing I have to mm -hmm. say, um a script of uh drama not funny oh, at no, all. No. <laughs> film that I started writing in 2016 mm -hmm. after um you know who came onto the scene yep. and um such a nightmare and uh it brought up uh, the working title is hate crime but I don't think it's going to be that um mm -hmm. but it's it's a pretty um crazy drama um yeah. So that's going to be a feature too. You have that in mind. That's, yeah, I think, I think that's, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to say, but yeah. I think yeah. that that might be, you know, what I want to do. I mean, I only really want to put my effort into that right now. Yeah. Um, but we'll see, you know, if something else comes up. So you'll but, have a lot going on once this is all over you'll, uh, and we get back to business. You'll be back to business being busy. I hope so. And all this stuff and all this. Yeah, yeah. Content. I mean, I mean, so I'm busy now with, I mean, as far as the filmmaking goes, yeah, I hope so. I mean, it all depends on money, really. Right? Um, or, but, um, and distribution. But, um, you know, it's very busy with, I do a lot of commercials. Yeah. And I do a lot of uh, voiceovers and stuff. And I just do Are it. you able to do voiceovers now? Do they have, oh, are yeah. they? It's they exactly it the same. Yep. I mean, it's it's pretty much the same. Yeah. It actually got a lot busier 
because yeah. they started doing, you know, taking some footage and changing it up with a new voiceover. So there's a lot more auditions and things and they ramping that up. Mm. And there's now there's, they're also writing commercials where you shoot them at home. I mean, if you see those oh, yeah. online, you know, the commercials with like somebody, like the baby on the little vacuum cleaner and the, all those clips that they put together, people at home. Yeah. Those are like, they're, sh I Even think most of that shot at their, you know, remotely. Cause I'm getting auditions like that where you, you have to be your own uh, everything. <laughs> so there was one that I had to do outside and I, I so appreciate crew now so much more than I ever did because <laughs> I had to do sound. It was windy and wow, sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Windy and sunny. You'd think that'd be like, great. No, the no. worst. Right. No, yeah. The wind, the wind is ridiculous unless you have yeah. good sound outside. Yeah. So. Oh, it was just yeah. crazy. You know? I was just editing a video with all different people saying stuff for, for uh, um, the students. Yeah. And everyone had different videos. So the sounds up and down and up and down and windy right. and not windy. So it was like nonstop with that. So. Right. Right. And fun, I, have my, I have my, my teenager. He's my cinematographer. <laughs> um, so. So a lot of these shows now too are going like all the they're going live like at nighttime they're doing it live from their house and yeah and uh, yep. so it's been interesting. Yeah, I just I just got cast actually in a, a show that I can't talk about, but they're actually they are uh, we're shooting our own. It's a series, and it's a, a actually a kind of a good a, a, a name uh, director. He's an actor. And um, a great production company, and they're shooting. Um, well, we're shooting ourselves. Um, I don't know how how it's all going to work. I just read the the first script, and it's very funny. So yeah, you got to just be creative and figure ways <laughs> out doing this. Right? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I trust them, and uh, yep. it sounds great. It's really good cast. So um, yep. and the writing's funny. So we'll see. You yep. know, hopefully that uh, that gets picked up. That'd be great. So um, usually I ask the people that are on here and since we have an arts academy and we have dancers and actors and filmmakers and so much more uh, artists and uh, um, would you give any, uh, do you have any advice for um, high schoolers that are going into this field or, of the arts in all different types of realms? Any, any good advice for going into that? Yeah, I think, you know, it's hard because all of us um, who knew what we wanted to do when we were young and then, you know, and really studied and, and worked hard at it. And you were always told to have a backup career. Um, and that uh, to me, that was really, that was really hard because I couldn't think of anything else that I really wanted to do. And there's been several times over my career where I've thought, Oh, geez, you know, Oh, you know, being so frustrated Mm -hmm. Um, either frustrated because I wasn't making any money or frustrated because I wasn't being hired or I was my, my, my creative projects weren't, I don't know, whatever you get frustrated, right? It's yeah. a really hard, you kind of put your, your heart is on your sleeve mm -hmm. so, or just out there. And, um, I just say, you know, just keep, keep, keep thinking about why you really are doing this. Um, because I, I literally, I couldn't think of anything else. Like I couldn't yeah. think of anything else that I could do. This mm -hmm. is just what I do. Yeah. And I think that it's important to have all these artists. Um, I think maybe we're seeing that now, right? I mean, yeah. with, with the pandemic, it's like, who do we, you know, like for me, there's like, <laughs> You know, I think everybody, we're all, we're all hungry for someone else's story or, yeah. you know, some way to connect to people and, and, and then watching, even watching artists that we, that we love, like there's, you know, some, some YouTubers or like, you know, like Randy Rainbow, <laughs> you know, like it's like crazy stuff out there that's yeah. so, um, you know, that, 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 that's, you know, the, the gamut, you know, you, there's the Broadway channel where we can connect to, and you realize how, especially now people have to know how important this is. Yeah. I mean, I hope the world, there's so many things that we're learning that are important, but really artists are such an important part of our world. 
and they don't get paid as much as, especially here in the States, mm -hmm. you know, um, I think there are other countries that, that do, st you know, subsidize a lot of the arts yeah. more. Um, but, um, no, it's, it's hard. You got to work hard, you know, just work hard yeah, and keep at it, right? You have to work hard and keep at it. You also have to, um, just keep going back to, um, loving it, you know, how you love it. And and I think the kids that we're talking to now don't know what the heck I'm talking about because they don't have those other worries, right? They're just doing what they love, yeah, which is great. And I would say for the dancers, you just have to keep in class. You know, you do have to look, you do have to kind of, um, you know, keep healthy and keep in shape and all that. But and look, but you and also, you know, keep studying, keep staying in class, uh, you know, in dance class, mm -hmm. technique class. Um, I think that that will get you through, um, a lot. It'll get you through, first of all, you know, auditions, if you're going from, um, as a, as a concert dancer, a ballet dancer, a modern or something like that to Broadway or one of those, if you have the technique, um, you're going to stand out. And those, those are the ones, you know, that really, that make it. Um, mm -hmm. so there's a big difference. Um, but there's always that going, going inside, you know, and knowing how you feel and what's important to you. You know, I sound so cheesy, but I guess it's because I like doing, just doing yoga and meditation all the time. Yeah. It's, it's been one of those. It's like Groundhog's Day every day, right? It's, <laughs> That's right. Every day. That's right. I just wish that the yoga and the meditation would last like for the effect of peace would last me through like the e-learning screaming match. Like, <laughs> up, <laughs> then, it's like then it's like, oh yeah, mommy, you really, you're, yeah, you're really into yoga. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that, see, the see, the show, the show goes so fast. It's crazy, right? We went right through it all and went through everything. Oh and then, yeah. um, I just want to uh, thank you for coming on. And we, we, on, on the uh, comments there, uh, um, Ming and Christian have been posting all your websites and everything to go to. So definitely tune in uh, Thursday night. You said Thursday eight night, night live? at eight o'clock. It's going to be on my YouTube channel. It's mm -hmm. the mother of the week's uh, streaming. That'd be great. And the cast and crew. Sounds, sounds good. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get going on that. And thanks for coming on. And uh, I hope to see you soon at the next festival. I know. Thank hopefully you. Hopefully before September, but at least we have September. I know. <laughs> so see you in September. Okay. All right. I know it's a, that's a new musical. Um, thank you. Thank you for everything. This is great. It's yeah. so great to see you. Yeah, you too. Thanks.